you've met someone now. Oh, but you were. We were. Stand up and bang my head against this low hanging lamp. Some reclaimed shit. I stand up and throw my ring at him across the table, and he catches it in the folds of his shirt. Now the whole restaurant's looking at me. So, I pick up my Primark bag, inhale my glass of wine, and run. Back in my house. I storm through the kitchen, open a cupboard, and pull out a bottle of Midori. I fill the glass all the way up to the top and I throw the bottle at the wall. I throw the glass at the wall and I throw another glass and another glass and another glass and another glass and another Another, 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 stop! <laughs> I pull on my phone. I send one new message. Asshole. And I sent it to him 23 times. I stumble into a kitchen and forgetting about all the broken glass and glittering for puckery. Before I know it, I slip. I land face first into the pile of glass. Shock covers my skin. I sit up. I feel the warm trickle of blood down my cheek. A piece of glass goes through my muscle, a piece as big as a playing card. You know, I was going to pull it out, but I push it. I push it in. I want to feel it. I really want to feel it. I taste iron. I taste my blood. I taste everything. I feel this rush of pain, this rush of delight, no emotions, no logic, just It took 12 little in and outs to close that hole in my cheek. Today, I promised myself I will leave the house and go back into the world with this new face. But people stare. 
people whisper, people point. They think I can't hear. Freak. Frankenstein.